Here is Danny and today, according to Leaky Boy Tom Henderson, who wrote down the results of an internal meeting on a site named Xfire, which is based on 60,000 words of feedback from 350 DICE members. The top people at EA held a 20 minute post-mortem on what went wrong with Battlefield 2042. A lot by the way. Laura Miel, EA's chief studio officer said, it is really important to acknowledge when we have misses, and this has certainly been the case with Battlefield 2042's launch, which failed to meet the expectations of our players, and also clearly missed our own expectations. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. She outlined a few things. She mentions the engine that it was built on was a very old and outdated build, and that during development it got a huge overhaul with so much new tech that it almost became a new engine with all the new engine problems and there's still no double XP. The working from home situation didn't help either adding new variables to development. According to Mule, the beta showed that there was a good amount of bugs and unpolished areas, but she also said that there was a substantial amount of positive feedback from the players. Quoting, players saying this feels like Battlefield, Battlefield is back, this is my Battlefield, and so we had to embolden the team. It was then revealed that Battlefield 2042's bug count ratio got to historic levels for a DICE game, and mock reviews prior to launch were in the high 70s to low 80s, and it still had less bugs than Battlefield 4 though. They also mentioned design and lacking features like scoreboard, VoIP, but also the specialist got mentioned, with improvements coming to those things. They also mentioned early playtesting and how it didn't align with the player's expectations. Quoting, Clearly we didn't go wide enough with different player segments. And we certainly didn't go deep enough with the game. So we did not bring players along with us, which is a big miss for the development cycle and process of the game. Another thing they blamed for is the surprise release of the Halo Infinite multiplayer which made Battlefield 2042 look even worse. On one hand you had a functioning game, and on the other hand you had Battlefield 2042. Then Miel starts talking about what they learned and what they will do to improve. Also saying the bug count for Battlefield 2042 did fall into the range that they would have expected when compared to other launches. Like I said, Battlefield 4 has been really bad. And that DICE has been good with turning around games but also that players expect more from games these days than a buggy mess that will get fixed eventually, and that it wasn't the right choice to stay with the DICE fixes it later mentality, like they had for the past few games. Rebecca Kutas, the new vice president and general manager of DICE had this to say too. She agreed that it is important to have more player feedback and that they are kicking off a new initiative later this month about getting feedback for map design and how to improve the player space. But it is not clear if it is a feedback session for everyone or just select people. About that I should totally continue my big twitter treat about map design. They are also restructuring the Battlefield teams for a more streamlined process. A link to the entire post can be found in the description, but hey that is all I got for now, subscribe for more, this was Danny and I, see you on the Battlefield.